the challenge of input text too long. There are two approaches. The first one is what we call the map reduce method. The second method is a refine method. You need to be able to be careful of the context length that we are dealing with. Don't forget to give us likes, leave your comments, share us to your friends, and also subscribe to our channels. We have YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Facebook. It's because it's going to be related to uh, one of the application of generative AI or LangChain wrapper is about text summarization. I talked about this in my free webinar several weeks ago, and it was embarrassing because um, when I give my code a really long context length, it failed. It gave out an error. Um, this is because I wasn't configured the context length properly. And let me fix this with this um, episode. All right, summarization task. What we are, what you are going to encounter is the challenge of input text too long. What we can solve or we, we can remedy this situation is by splitting the long input text into chunks before summarizing it. There are two approaches um, that we can do. The first one is what we call the map reduce method. In the map reduce method, we are going to process all the chunks uh, to get a summary for them respectively first, like this. Chunk number one got summarized to summary one, chunk number two to summary two, and so on. And then in the next phase, in the reduce step, we are going to say reduce all these summaries into a final sum, right? That's it. So this method, map reduce method, involves two major steps. The first one is the map uh, step. You map a chunk to a summary. And in the second step, the reduce step, you stack up, you ask the model to merge or create a final summary out of all of these summaries. And the way I stack them up horizontally is for you to see that the more chunks you have, the longer this input length to the LLM will be. That's another challenge. You might uh, cut your chunk uh, into 10,000 tokens. Sorry, you might cut your chunk into, uh, let's say, five, uh, 1,000 tokens. If this is 1,000, right, and somehow your summary is 200 tokens, and you have to stack them up, and maybe the reduce is maybe another 200 token. And then when you stack them up, now it becomes long. It can be long, right? Let's imagine if this is um, 3,000, and then now four of them give you 1,200 tokens already. So the more chunks you have, the longer the reduce step prompt will be. And this can got you back into a long input text problem again, all right? So this is the map reduce method. Now, the second method is a refined method. What we do here, still, we are going to break it, uh, break the original long text into chunks. But there are two phases here. Phase number one is the initialization phase. We take chunk number one, get a summary, right? And then we set up a variable called existing summary and give the summary to that variable, this one. In the second phase, we are going to do iteratively or until we've, we finish last chunk. So for the next chunk, we compute, or we compute the summary and then we ask refine. You give a, an existing summary and a new summary, refine it to be a new uh, existing summary. And this will keep repeating until you have completed all the chunks. And this is a refined method. What you need to notice is that there is no way to speed it up. You have to do chunk by chunk because it has to be done in sequence. While if you go back to take a look at map reduce, this process can be done in parallel. So typically 
if you have um, code that can parallelize um, the processes, this method map reduce is going to be faster because it can map uh, in parallel. However, um, the benefit of the refined method is because you are doing this in sequence, then it will flow, um, it will have a better flow. Um, that's what I can say. It can summarize things as it goes on. Um, but you know, maybe if the model is smart enough, let's say GPT-4 or Mini, it might be able to correlate this in time temporal correlation as well. All right, so I have described to you two main methods to handle um, long input text. All of them need to be chunking, uh, to be chunked, but it, the difference is how you map or process and merge the summar summaries. Now, going back to our previous topic, what it's related to here is you need to be able to be careful of the context length that we are dealing with, right? So for writing a good application, what you, you what what you could know, what you know is actually you know what the input text or the chunk size is. You know that. So this is known value. For the summary, the length of the summary, you can set it to a desirable number. Let's say you preset num predict to a thousand tokens. So by knowing this, you can come up with a happy number for a buffer. Let's say a buffer is plus 50% or twice this. Then you can go back and set the Olama setting to cover that, right? So this is a, a way out, um, at least for myself, my application is going to be doing it this way. So I know how many tokens I need to process, roughly the chunk size. And then I preset this and therefore I can preset the buffer. That's it. That's what I will do in my coding demo. All right.